It's a lovely thing to do, actually. It is. Now, on last night's programme, we hope you'll remember, but we briefly featured some breathtaking images of the Earth's stratosphere, and they were captured by physics students from the University of Leicester who were using a high-altitude weather balloon. And indeed, they captured the attention of many of you, our viewers. So, as requested, here's another little look at the Earth from on high. Now, the students' unmanned balloon and onboard equipment reached an altitude of more than 23 kilometres. The flight lasted just over an hour and a half. The students say they're relieved the uh, balloon and its contents returned to Earth undamaged. They're now busy assessing the information that it captured. We got um, all the electronics we proved worked at that altitude. We got the cameras working, all the telemetry. We got pressure data. Um, and some lovely footage and also a stepping stone to progress to the next flight. Absolutely brilliant. Kay did mention last night that she would have liked to have gone up in it, but yeah, there is a problem. reason it was unmanned. It was a little bit chilly. 23 kilometres up, the ambient temperature is apparently around minus 56 degrees Celsius. And coming down would have been a bit scary. The payload hit 100 miles an hour as it plummeted back to Earth. So she's had a lucky escape, really. I think she has. <laughs> she may be rethinking that one. Um, so now...